Good afternoon or morning, depending on where you are. Today we're getting ready to make, I'm getting ready to make, <laughs> and you're going to watch, I'm going to make some SOS. So what I've done is I cooked this beef last night and I pushed it all over to the side so all the juice would blend on this side of the pot when it got cold in the refrigerator. I've scraped the grease off and I got three tablespoons of grease in this pot. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide this beef because I'm using half of it to make something else and I'm using half of it to make SOS for Ernie. So next step is to add some flour to that and to brown it. Okay, so now what I'm doing here is I've separated the meat. I cooked the two pounds of meat last night. There's about one pound and there's about one pound. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the roux. Ooh, got a little close there, sorry. I'm going to make the roux for the SOS. So as soon as this uh, comes up where it's supposed to be, I'll show you what it looks like. Now, in case y'all don't know what SOS is, it's shit on the shingles, uh, cream chip tipped beef on toast. My daddy used to make this all the time when I was a kid. Uh, he was a 20-year Army veteran, and Sunday mornings, uh, lots of times he would cook breakfast to order. Um, but he liked making this SOS. Now, cream chip beef is the traditional, real way you're supposed to make it. But I'm using hamburger meat. And now, I want to tell you something about this roux. It's a little deceiving. You might think, oh, this roux is done. But, because I use the grease from the hamburger meat, it's... Uh, it looks browner than what it really is. So you've got to cook that uh, raw taste off the flour. So we've got just a little bit longer to go on there. Okay, I think this is ready. Now I'm one of those that thinks that you're not supposed to add your milk all at one time. Now I made the milk out of instant milk because um, I don't normally keep regular milk around the house. And this has to be made with regular milk. i tell you what the best thing to make it with is canned evaporated milk. Because it adds a little bit of a sweet flavor to it. So I'm not one of the ones that says you need to dump it all in there at one time. I like to add a little bit. Work the roux. Get the lumps out. Add a little bit more. Work the roux. Get the lumps out. Now, I had three tablespoons of fat. Three tablespoons of flour. So I'm going to add about three cups of milk. So this was four cups. Let me make sure I've got it mixed up really good because, like I said, that was that instant milk. So, that's about a cup left. So, here we go. Now, to this, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And for flavor, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of um, beef bouillon. And since that beef bouillon has uh, salt in it, I'm not going to add any salt right now. So we're going to turn the heat on nice and low. My burners don't work as good as they should. Turn that nice and low. So we want to go low and slow on this and thicken this up. 
So while I'm waiting for this to thicken up, I'm going to put the toast in the oven, uh, in the toaster, and I'm going to heat up some uh, potatoes for Ernie. So we're going to have potatoes on. He's going to have potatoes on the side. I'm making me something Mexican, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Uh, Ernie likes hamburger helper type meals. I don't. Now, yes, SOS is just fine. My daddy made it for us all the time when I was a kid. And we ate it. We liked it. But now I'm old enough where I can make a choice of what I eat. And I choose not to eat this. <laughs> but Ernie likes it, so I'm making it for Ernie. So we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, y'all, it's, oops. It's getting there, but I'm going to taste it for spices. And I think it needs salt and pepper. So... There's some salt. And there's some pepper. So we'll let this uh, cook a little bit more. It's not quite there. When it is there, what I'll do is, uh, see it's still real thin. I'll add that meat to it. So... Just a second. We'll be back. Okay, I'm going to add the beef to it now. And then Ernie's going to do a taste test. So. Now, y'all, I know cream chip beef. It's supposed to be cream chip beef. But my daddy made it like this all the time, and it was good. And I've eaten it like this. I've eaten in mess halls before. And I've eaten it like this in the mess hall. Okay, so now that I got all the beef in there, I'm going to add the other beef that I was saving for me back there, and I'm going to eat that up. But here is this, and we need to get a little bit of a little bit of cook on this so that beef has a chance to, to get in with that gravy so we know if we need to adjust the spices. So we'll give it a little bit of time. Remember, we're going low and slow here. We're in no hurry. Okay, so now we're going to have Ernie do a taste test. Ernie, here's your tasting spoon. Do a taste test. See if it needs any salt or pepper or whatever. No. No? Doesn't need anything? Okay, y'all. Now, you know, in the if you look up a recipe on the U.S. Army website or Navy website or wherever they still eat this stuff, you're going to find now you can make it with turkey. Um, people add Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire. <laughs> but we're just making it plain old, kind of like sausage gravy but uh, using beef instead and uh, I like it a little on the thin side I wish it wasn't quite this thin but it's going to serve the purpose so just a second we'll plate up and Ernie will do a, ta a final taste test okay y'all we had a tiny little uh, change of plans here Ernie is having these mashed potatoes so let me uh, put that over his mashed potatoes Of course, he's still having that shingles on the bottom. <laughs> this is uh, old-fashioned comfort food, y'all. How's that? Is that enough, Ernie? Yeah. Okay, so Ernie, get you a spoon and do a final taste test with them mashed potatoes. Be sure to speak loud. Now, like I said, my daddy used to make this all the time when I was a kid. Oh, 
Okay. How is it? Good. Good? Yeah. Yeah, taste that with the meat in it. Good? So, there you go, y'all. The way my daddy used to make shit on the shingles, or SOS. Thanks for watching.